What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time video because I really want it to be like a casual sit down video, nothing fancy because I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I woke up so sick at 5 a.m. this morning. You know when you feel that little tickle in your throat and you're like, yeah, I'm going to be sick today. That is me. I'm actually running a fever right now. My nose is constantly dripping. So sorry in advance for that. If it's like all red around my nose, it's because I'm blowing it every five seconds. I have tea here. I have my heating pad here. Um, but I'm one of those people that like if I lay in bed, I feel more sick. So I still want to like carry on with my normal everyday routine and I definitely still want to sit down and talk with my people. You guys are my people. You always make me feel better. YouTube is my therapy. So for today's video, since I did not have anything planned and since you guys are always requesting more story time videos, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let me put my teeth on the side and <clears throat> We're gonna get started. So I asked you guys for my last story time video what you guys exactly wanted to hear stories about because there's just so much that I can share with you guys. And a lot of you guys were telling me that you wanted to hear dating stories or stories from high school or stories involving the opposite sex. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. And it's actually going to be my first experience with an F boy. And basically what an F boy is, it's kind of like a new term in case of any of you guys don't know because I didn't know what it meant when I first heard it. It's basically just a douchebag guy, a piece of crap guy. You guys, you know what I'm saying? Like a piece of crap douchebag guy. That's a fuck boy. As a woman, I have had lots of experiences with F boys, but this one definitely stood out to me when I was thinking of what I wanted to talk with you guys about because this was my very first experience. So I'm gonna be taking you guys back to the age of 15. I was 15 years old and I was very innocent. I never had a boyfriend. I had crushes on guys. I believe that's like the junior high school age. Um, but yeah, I never kissed anyone and I was still very innocent and in my prime youth age. So basically the way that this started is I have an older sister, her name is Desiree, and my mom actually had like two sets of children. So my older sisters are actually 20 years older than me. So my older sister Desiree could basically be my mom. And hi Des, if you're watching this by the way, I don't even think she watches my videos, but just in case, cause this one is about you. Well, it's not about you but it still involves you. But it's okay because mom knows everything. My family is all very open, so you guys know that my grandmother and my mom watch my videos and they already know the whole story. So anyway, let's get back to it. So it was a really hot summer day and I was in the car with my sister. I was actually in the back seat. I don't know why I was not in the front seat with her because it was only me and her in the car. And she was driving and we were actually gonna go to dinner at Friendly's because I loved Friendly's back then. So we were about to go to dinner there and we were driving on the highway and I swear to you guys, I swear that this sounds like a story that I am making up, but I guarantee you and promise you guys that none of the story time videos that I share with you guys on this channel or anywhere are made up. They are all true and I know that they sound like very out there, but this is true facts this really happened in my life so we're driving on the highway we're blasting music having a good time on the way to dinner and all of a sudden there's a guy on a motorcycle not really a motorcycle but kind of like a power bike I don't really know exactly what they're called I'll put a picture here so you guys can know exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not talking about like a Harley Davidson I'm talking about like a power bike I don't know what they're called, but yeah, you guys you guys know what I'm talking about. So he's driving parallel to our car, and you know, I'm a young girl. I turn over, it kind of got my attention. I think I really like that whole bad boy image. So I was like, Des, look at that guy right there. Like, he's cute, don't you think? And she's like, yeah, he is. Now, in retrospect, I don't really know why I even thought the guy was cute, because he had a helmet on, and really the only thing that I could see were his eyes. But for some reason, just by seeing his eyes, I could tell that he was hot. Like, I knew he was Hispanic, just from his eyes, I kind of felt like I knew that he was in my age range, or not really my age range because I was 15, but you know, the age that I liked, uh, that I had crushes on guys in that age range. And basically I was like, mm, I like him, what do you think? And she was like, yeah, he looks good. So I'm like waving to him and he's waving back. And my sister's like, do you want me to pull over? And I kind of freak out, I'm like, no, I don't know what to say, I don't know how to flirt. No, keep going, keep going. She's like, no, he's really cute. I think that you should give him your number. And I'm like, well, all right, I'm not gonna like pull over off the highway. We're not on like a regular street, we're on the highway. So I'm like, um, I think I'm just gonna write my number down and like hand it, like put it up to the window. Now, we were going about 80 miles per hour and he was just riding parallel to us. So I don't even know how he was keeping that steady. And I <laughs> went ahead and wrote down my phone number. Now remember at the time I was 15, I didn't even have a cell phone. So I wrote down my parents' 
house number and I wrote my name, L-E-E, -E, and I held it up there. While this guy was riding 80 miles an hour parallel to our car, he actually pulled his phone out of his back pocket and somehow managed to put my number into his phone and save it. And after that, he was like pointing at me and I'm like, Des, what is he saying? She's like, I don't know. And he's like pointing at me and I'm just like waving back because I'm really not sure what he's trying to say. So anyway, uh, traffic picks up and we kind of just get lost on the highway. So I thought, okay, maybe he'll call. Maybe he won't call. We went to Friendly's. Didn't really think much of it. So we get home and my mom is standing at the door. She opens the door and she's like, so who's Lee? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm Lee. <laughs> and she's like, no, a guy called for you and his name was Lee. And he said that he wanted to leave a message to you or speak to you. And I was like, oh my God, that's like why he was pointing at me because how weird is that? His name is Lee and my name is Lee. I thought that was so cool. So anyway, long story short, I ended up calling him back that night. We started talking for a couple of nights on the phone and I did set it up to actually have him come pick me up at my parents' house. I was so excited because this was like the first time that I was actually going on a real date. So this went on for a couple of weeks and it did eventually turn into a relationship. Now we weren't 100% exclusive to each other, but we were pretty serious and we were seeing each other about three times every single week. And he is the typical definition, or was, I don't know, maybe he still is, but back then he was the definition of a douchebag guy. And I wanna give you guys two stories to kind of get you to know his type of personality. One night he called me up and he was like, tomorrow morning I have something really, really special planned. So what I want you to do is get, get dressed up really nice, wear heels, do your hair nice, put your makeup on, just make sure that you look really nice and be ready by eight o'clock in the morning and I will be there to pick you up. So I was like, oh my God, I called all my friends. I told all my family members, I have something really special planned for tomorrow. He has a surprise. I really don't know what it is. I'm so excited. What should I wear? I think I actually even went to the mall to get a new pair of shoes because I just really wanted to look cute for him. I had no idea what was planned. Fast forward to that next morning, I get in his car. He's all dressed up in a suit. I'm all dressed up. We look like we're going to a very, very fancy dinner at eight o'clock in the morning. So we're driving for about 15 minutes and I'm like, tell me, what are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we going? What's the surprise? And he just gets this look on his face and he's like, oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Actually, I have a court date and uh, I have a bunch of speeding tickets that I didn't pay so I need to go to court today and I just you know wanted you to dress up nice and if anybody asks just say that you're my sister or my cousin because you know you can't really bring a person that you're dating into court with you so just pretend that you're like a family member of mine and I remember being like what like seriously okay then I totally misread that as much as I hate to admit it this was actually the guy that I did end up losing my virginity to and I kind of stayed with him for a long time because of that I felt like I don't know I felt like since he was the first guy I lost my innocence to I just made more excuses to stay with him because I didn't want to lose my virginity to someone that just kind of had no meaning in my life if that makes any sense but I know you guys do ask all the time for a video or a story time on how I lost my virginity. I feel like that's a little bit too invasive and weird to talk about here on YouTube, but I will let you guys know that it was not a comfortable scenario and that right after I was still in shock and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe that I just did this and I wanted to like talk with him about it and we just ended up going to the mall after and he said that he wanted to buy some things in celebration and I remember that I thought that that meant that he was gonna take me shopping and that he legit went shopping for himself and I remember just following him around in the store like carrying a pile of jeans and I'm thinking in my head like, I just lost my virginity to this guy like an hour ago and now we're here shopping for him. He was just an asshole. He was a douchebag and I stayed with him for the longest time, but then there was a turn of events. Honestly, I cannot believe that this took so long to happen, but we were about nine to 10 months into the relationship when one day we were sitting down at a pizzeria and this guy just casually mentions, and I'm still 15 years old, keep that in mind. He's like, my younger brother is about to turn 25 this Wednesday. And I'm like, wait, hold up, what? Younger brother, 25? You told me that you were 23 when I first met you. So what's going on? How is your younger brother turning 25? And I remember that he got really flustered and he's like, oh, I, I meant to say older brother. And I'm like, no, 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 hold up, hold up. Let me see like your, your license or something. And he was like, I don't have it. It got taken away. So I'm like, let me see a birth certificate or something that has your age on it. I remember he had a bunch of excuses. He said that his mom had all his papers, that there was no way that he could prove to me his age. Well, long story short, I ended up finding out his real age. And are you guys ready for this? He was caught red-handed and he basically just had to tell me the truth. He was 28 
years old and I was 15. He was 13 years older than me. Can we just take that in? Let's take that in. I know what a bunch of you guys are gonna say. That definitely is considered statutory rape. I was not of legal age and he was 13 years older than me. I was 15, he was 28. I did not end up pressing any charges because I did not feel that even a legal system, it is considered rape. I still felt like I was a consenting person involved. Obviously I was not an adult, but I did not consider it rape myself, even though legally it is considered rape. But anyway, I could not wrap my head around the fact that I was dating a 28 year old at 15 years old. And I did end up leaving him shortly after that because I just couldn't come to terms with that. But in true douchebag fashion, he still like had me wrapped in because in between every single relationship that I had after him, anytime that we would break up, I would always go back to him because I just felt like that was my safe zone. That was the person that I lost my virginity to. That was someone that I was with for almost a year. So I kind of just didn't want to be lonely. And I would always go back to him in between every single relationship when they would end. And that just kills me because I used to think to myself, okay, like, whatever, I'm using him because I don't wanna be alone. But in reality, I was definitely getting used myself. And it's just a, a whole messed up situation now that, that I think about it in retrospect. Like I hate it. My future daughter will never be able to accomplish something like this, like no. Eventually going back to him in between every single relationship definitely got on the old side and I kind of got over that. And it's so funny because about two months ago, he actually did find me on Facebook and he wrote me a message on Facebook. I deleted it and blocked him right away. And I'm just hoping and praying that he does not find me on, on YouTube because that would be weird because he might see this video. And if you do, Lee, you know your last name. I'm not gonna put you on blast here, but damn. I can't even, I, I just can't. A lot of you guys know that I am now, last month I actually turned 28 years old and I could not fathom the idea of dating a 15 year old. So crazy person, messed up person, something that happened to me in my past and I definitely just wanted to share the story with you guys. I don't know if it's funny, if it's sad, I think it's kind of a combination of all that, but now I know what kids are capable of doing and sneaking around and their parents not really knowing, but I don't know, yeah, I guess that's just something that kids do. Getting into trouble. I definitely have a lot more stories from the whole junior high school and high school age, so definitely let me know if you guys are interested in those. And I am so proud of myself that I lasted throughout this whole video. I talked mm, for about 20 minutes and I did not even need one tea break. So thank you guys all, eh, I'm gonna break my arm. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one, Mwah. bye.